Today's video, we're discussing some options for people that have sickle cell nephropathy, okay? That's sickle cell disease. So thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome, welcome, welcome back. So sickle cell, okay, it's a genetic disorder where it affects the red blood cells. And since red blood cells, they deliver oxygen, they deliver nutrients, people that have sickle cell have a higher requirement for the basic vitamins in their body because study after study after study has shown that even though they may have adequate intake, they still become low in these nutrients from the disease process. So if you have sickle cell nephropathy, all the other videos that we discuss here on, on my channel are, are still going to apply but we wanna make sure you're doing a couple of basic things. So since your body is always stressed, it doesn't have the nutrients it needs to function properly, you're always gonna be low in antioxidants, things that help your body combat cell damage, reverse cell damage. So we always wanna make sure you're getting plenty of nutrients. So first off, you wanna take a good quality multivitamin, okay? You wanna complete your spectrum of nutrients. So good quality multivitamin. Also, Really important is omega-3. So the omega-3s help the sickle cell, but they also help your kidney. So you're getting a double benefit, okay? And that's a great thing about nutrients is that one nutrient can do 10, 15, 20, 200, 500 different things in the body. So sickle cell disease, get your sickle cell nephropathy from sickle cell disease. Make sure to get your multivitamin, okay? Make sure to get your omega-3s. And if you're unsure about what we're talking about, Take a look at our other videos. We have videos that just talk about omega-3s. Make sure you have adequate vitamin D. Okay, vitamin D3, so important. Now, the blood levels for majority of tests on the actual lab test will be 30 and below will be deficient. 30 and above is sufficient. With sickle cell, you want to make sure you get to at least 40 on that blood work. So don't just, um, don't just you know, use the, the viewpoint of my doctor said it was fine. Okay, that's what a lot of people said to me. My doctor didn't say anything. Oh, he said it was fine. Okay, what, is, what does fine mean? Fine means 33. Technically, yeah, you're, you're okay. You're not deficient, but you're not going to get anywhere near all those good vitamin D3 benefits unless you get your levels higher. Because we, we know that higher levels, and we don't, we're not talking extreme levels here. We're not talking about 80s, uh, which are still considered normal range. But we're talking about like 40 to 60 area. Very safe, lots of research, and a lot more benefits you're going to get than having a lower vitamin D level. Vitamin E and vitamin C, also very important. Don't do high dose vitamin C. Up to 1,000 milligrams a day is okay. And you wanna use ester C, okay? Ester C is a preferred form of vitamin C. It's less acidic, uh, less harsh on the stomach, okay? So ester C as the form of vitamin C. Vitamin E, excellent to take. So you wanna definitely start out with those base nutrients. You know, make sure you take those before moving on to other things. Uh, another one that you want to consider in that base nutrients is CoQ10. So one of the big problems with sickle cell is uh, lack of blood flow, lack of oxygen. CoQ10 helps bring more oxygen to your body. We have a whole video on that. 400 milligrams a day. If you can't afford 400, 200, 200 milligrams a day. Even 100 milligrams is shown benefit. We really like that 200 milligram mark or higher, but even 100 milligrams has shown benefit. Okay, so CoQ10, super important. So we covered the multivitamin, omega-3s, make sure you optimize your vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin C. Okay, so, so important to get all those nutrients. Okay, because one in 10, one in 10 people, okay, 11% of people that have sickle cell will end up with end-stage kidney disease. Okay, so by taking these precautions, doing all the other things we talk about in our videos, making sure to stay on top of your doctor's appointment, you should do much, much better than you would Otherwise, if you weren't doing all these things to manage your health. So thanks for watching, everybody, to your best kidney health. Bye.